All right, guys, we're here with a right shoulder arthroscopic surgery here. We're just going to do a quick drive through the shoulder and go over some of the anatomy here. So you can see this is the, um, the glenoid here on the bottom and the humeral head here. You can see it's rounded. Um, this is the rotator cuff interval here where I have my uh, cannula here. And on top is the patient's bicep tendon. So that bicep tendon comes from the arm and it inserts here on the superior labrum. So this patient does have some fraying and some tearing of that superior labrum. If I go out in front here, this is our sub. This is the subscapularis tendon, which is one of uh, the four rotator cuff uh, tendons, and that that's looking pretty good. This is the subscapularis recess here. If I drive through right here, and that's where a lot of loose bodies will be found. All right. If we look down lower here, this is the anterior labrum of the shoulder. You can see the ball and socket here. And if I drive through a little bit further, this is our axillary pouch where also loose bodies can be. And we're going to look here at the back of the rotator cuff on the joint side here. So this is the fibers of the rotator cuff here inserting into the shoulder. And then we're going to go back up top. Again, here's our bicep tendon going down to the superior labrum here. You can see that looks a little frayed. And then here's our rotator cuff coming in the front. You can see some partial tearing here of the rotator cuff and then insertion here on the inner head.